Hello, this is Dave Gimberline, and this is March 24th, and this is the home training session for the University of Minnesota Shotokan Karate Club, and for anybody else that wants to train along. So, I'm glad you could all make it. Uh, let's get started. There's John. Pick up one foot. Go around with your ankle and toes. Switch away. Other foot. Other way. Feet together, around with your knees, other way, feet apart, around with your hips, other way, use your legs, pump your arms around, switch, Cross. Twist. Kick up your heels. Put your hands on the floor, straighten your legs, squat, straighten, squat, straighten, squat, straighten, and squat. Keep it up. Stretching down and forward. Back. Forward, back, forward, back, reach over one shoulder, switch, side, switch, around with your torso. Switch away. And stop. Let's straighten one leg. Switch. 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 Stretch over and down. Switch, 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 and switch. Stay on the side. Rotate all the way over. Stretch the outside of your thigh. Breathe deep. Back, over, back, over, back, over, and back. Switch over to the other side. All the way over, stretch the outside of your thigh, breathe deep. Back, over, back, over, back, <coughs> over, and back. Pull your feet in, squatting. Feet out behind you, arch. <sighs> Pushing back. Got your chest to the floor. Forward again.
Pull your feet in, squatting. Straighten your legs and stretch down. Roll up, prone with your hip. Switch, side to side. Squeeze one knee up into your chest. Switch, 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 and switch. Reach around behind, grab an ankle. Switch, switch, and switch. Share your legs, you can turn, straighten your arms. Warm up some kicks a little bit. Feet together. Bend your knees. Put your hands out at your own solar plexus height. <clears throat> Pick up one knee to your hands and then switch to the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and pick your knee up to your hand, front kick, put it back down, and then do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and roll through your hips a little bit. Pick your knee up to the side. Switch, 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 try side snaps. Bend your legs, tilt your hip just slightly, pick your knee up and snap through your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and again you can go around your hips. Try roundhouse kicks. Stretch this way a little bit. Pick up one leg to the side. Wrap it back and forth. Other leg. So put your feet out. Keep your knees out. You're gonna do a roundhouse kick and then switch to the other leg. Try to keep your shoulders and head up. Roundhouse kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and even more sideways, Rachel. Got it. Try back thrusts. You're going to bend your hips so your butt goes out. Make pressure down to the floor as you strike with your heel and then come back. And then do the other side. Ready? One, thrust. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Round your hips. Side thrust is a little tougher. We're gonna do it in three counts. The first count is you're gonna pick your knee up very, very high. So not this high, higher. In the second count, you're gonna thrust and pivot this foot. Stick your butt out. On the third count, you can just recover back to here. Okay, so coil up high. One, thrust. Two, three, other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three, one, two, three. Try one 
count, coil and thrust. Make pressure down. One, down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. That's enough. Round the hips. Switch. Deep lunging step forward. Stretch out your leg. Switch. Switch. Reaching up. Switch. Switch. Turn to the side. Switch. Yeah, shake it out. <coughs> Any requests or questions before we get going? Here we go then. Feet together. Bow. Uh, you want to be up there again, facing this way? Stepping out with your left arm, left leg, downward block. I'll be a mirror. Right? Counter punch out. One count, one punch. Rotate, punch head. One, two. 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 Switch hands to his feet, other side. Nice, straight, tall spine. Use your feet, twist, jamming face. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, show your legs just a little bit. This part uh, will be a review for most of you, but it's always full of new good information. We're going to practice using both legs. So to start off with, you're going to be in a counter push position. You're going to pick up your front heel. So your back leg is the only one on the ground. And on each count, you're going to use your back leg to drive and punch. Also, this one is going to rotate and squeeze. So your center squeeze is at the point of contact, and then you punch on the other side and squeeze and squeeze. Okay, so here we go. Hey, right, left leg forward, counter punch out. Pick up your front heel. Use your back leg, drive into the floor. One, drive. Pull your drawing arm all the way down to your heel. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, you're going to put your front heel down, pick up your back heel. Keep your pressure underneath. Use this leg to drive your hip forward into the target and then squeeze. And then you again use this leg to drive around and squeeze. This one has to bring your center together each time. Put all your weight on your front leg. Pick your back heel up. Twist and jab face. One, drive your hip forward. Two, drive your hip forward. Three, drive. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. With both feet on the ground. Use both legs. Ready? Drive and punch face. Both legs. One, drive. Your front leg and your back leg. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each punch, ki ai. practicing each leg individually. So good job. Right leg forward, counter punch out. Put all your weight on your back leg, pick up your front heel. Rotate and jab face. One, twist. Pull your drawing arm into your center, into the floor. Pull this hand. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put your front heel down, pick your back heel up. Keep your pressure underneath your hip. Use your front leg, drive your fist in. One, drive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Put both feet down. Use both legs. Ready? One, drive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I? second COVID shot today. I have no idea if they're related. It might just be warm in here. But so far, in spite of being genetically altered, I have no super skills of any kind. Maybe. All right. Um... I guess I kind of just want to do some basics. All of you seem to have some room to move around. So there'll be maybe more kumite basics, okay? So back up as far as you can and be in a fighting position. Left leg forward, shift forward and jab. One, shift forward, counter punch. Two, jab. One, two, one, two. Turn, counter punch, jabbing face. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Turn, other way. Start again, jabbing face. One, counter punch. Two, front snap kick, hold the recoil. Three, Let's do a back fist. Four, five. Got it? Recover. Five counts. Jab. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. Recover. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. On all of these actions, 
try to imagine that you're aiming for your own center. So this is center, this is center, this is center, that is center, that is center. Keep, keep, keep working in towards the middle. Occasionally, people get a little bit, like I'm gonna jab, I'm gonna pawn, I'm gonna kick, and they are not moving in towards the middle. So, if you don't have the room, do smaller shifts, that's fine. If you do have the room, you fong, do big shifts. Here we go, left leg in front. Still the same five counts, aiming more for center. One, two, three, four, five. Recover. One, two, three, four, five. Turn, other way. One, two, three, four, five. Recover. One, two, three, four, five. See if you can smooth it out into one count. Let's just see how it goes. Ready? One. Recover. Two. Turn. One. Recover. Two. Turn. It is difficult because some of you have small space, but in addition to always, always, always aiming towards the middle, bringing your center towards the middle, I also want you to kind of flow forward and down. So not stop, 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 stop. Kind of like you're driving down. Down, 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 down. Work your way nice and smooth. Here we go. John Noel, more sideways. Cindy, a little bit more sideways. One, down, 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 down. Cover. Two. Turn, one, down, 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 cover, two, hey, turn and look at me for just a second. There is a concept here that's kind of important, and that is that your legs are driving you forward. So the opposite of that is that your leg drags behind you. Drag, drag, kick, drag. It's just left back there. Almost everybody here is doing a really good job on the first couple actions. This leg drives, this leg drives. You kick, now maybe your back leg is Dragging along behind you. So make a point after this kick of pulling your back foot up so it can drive your hip into the target rather than just kind of punch from where it is and your hip gets left back there. Does that make sense? Try it again. Left leg forward. Whole series. Keep trying to pull your back foot up so it can drive you forward. One, drive, 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 drive. Turn, or, yeah, turn. Two, drive, 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 drive. Okay, turn. So, I guess mostly I'm thinking John Noel, but if you're not used to the idea of pulling your back foot up, it can feel like a cheat. So I remember, I'm just gonna do two techniques, the last two where you do the jab and counter punch. I remember going one, two, and my back foot would slide over there. Because I was trying so hard to twist, 
I had lost my direction. And I've seen very high ranking people do that. And I actually watched uh, Sensei Vissaro on the last series, he would pull that foot up, and if you're not used to it, it feels like a cheat to drive in, because it feels like, well, that feels like an extra thing. But it's not, it should just be an inherent part of your motion. So especially before the last punch, I want you to go one, two, three, pull it, hit, hit, hit. It drives, just like you were standing there. Pull your foot up first and then hit. And eventually, it won't matter. Can you take a step forward? Just stand at your target. Uh, it won't matter if I'm going one, two to hit the target, or if it's too far away, I'd have to go one, two. It has the same shock from your leg and body, but it doesn't have the same shock if this is dragging behind. And every time I, I'm being pulled backwards, so this concept used to get mentioned a lot, that your legs are supposed to be propelling you forward, not dragging behind you. And yet to make that change took me a long time. So do the best you can, same series. This isn't a particularly complicated one. So see if you can get it. Here we go. One, jab, counter, front kick, back test, counter. Two, jab, front kick, turn. One, two, turn. Go a little faster, ready? One, bump, 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 bump. Over. Eagle. So John Noel, that's better, but you can do more. Uh, Rachel, you were always doing that good. Sometimes on the inside, there's a balance thing. Uh, it's not quite the right word. There's an internal dynamic where you can pull your foot up and punch with it, and you didn't quite direct it at the target but it's pretty subtle, so it's kind of a picky thing to pick up. Here we go. Try it again, a little faster. One. Again. Two. And back. Let's back up and go forward. Push speed, can your counter punch. Ready? <clears throat> You're going to shift backwards slightly, downward block, front snap kick, counter punch. So that's one. On two, you're going to pick your back leg up and side thrust into the target and counter punch again. Let's just see how it goes. We'll do that. Ready? Fighting position. Little shift backwards, downward block, front kick, counter punch. One. Pick your back leg up and thrust. Two. Recover. One, two. Recover. One, two. Recover or turn if you need to. One, 
shift, block, punch, kick. Two, thrust. So, turn and look this way for a second. I expected the difficult part of that to be the side thrust because we don't do it a lot like we would if we were doing kumite all the time. But almost everybody here has a pretty darn good side thrust. So the shift is working out good. This 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 is a problem. You're just stuck here. Your butt's out, you're off balance. You're not going forward. So to help, I want you to recoil with your knee up and pull your body towards your knee. So instead of one, two, you're going to go one, two, and pull yourself forward. One, two, and then you'll be able to move again. It, it, it is similar in concept to this nice front. Oh, yeah, I'm good with that. After your thrust, just recoil back to almost there and then go. Eventually, you won't have to do such a big change, but you'll still get the pressure. That was pretty good, you found. Same series, try it again. Let's try one count, but remember that you're supposed to be recoiling forward on your side thrust. Ready? One. Cover. Heel. That's, everybody's doing better. Some of you, when you're recoiling, you're trying to go forward, but you're still dropping your legs so low that it doesn't help you move forward more. Keep your knee up. Try it again. Give yourself room. <coughs> One. Gotta say, that's better. That was much, much better, John Wild. Recover. Two. Good job, turn or make yourself more room. Do it again. One. Two. Turn. One. Give yourself room a couple times with speed. Ready? that still look better. That was good. I want to work a back thrust in. We're just going to do roundhouse kick, back thrust kick, counter punch. That's in one of the test basics. It is actually useful if you set it up right in Kumite, but it's useful in the dynamic. So what I want you to do after the roundhouse kick, you know you have to back thrust. So instead of roundhouse kicking, here I'll face you. Instead of roundhouse kicking and then putting your foot over there, I want you to roundhouse kick and set it like you're about to do a very nice straight back thrust with basically the same recoil we just did on the side thrust and then a counter punch. Okay, so one count, I'll just see how it goes. Roundhouse kick, back thrust kick, counter punch. If we have to slow it down more, we will. Ready? One. 
Round, thrust, punch. Two, round, thrust, punch. Turn, so now you get your other leg in front. One, round, thrust, punch. Two, round, thrust, punch. Okay, the only weak spot there is your back thrust, and it's from a lack of confidence. So we'll do a couple back thrusts. Give yourself some room back away from the camera and face uh, backwards. So all you're gonna do is pick up your front foot and thrust and step down. No twisting, no turning. You're just gonna thrust and work backwards. One, thrust, step down. Two, thrust. Three, four. Yep, so not with your feet together though, in a front stance. Do it again, uh, give yourself some room. So Jean Noel, go back towards that wall. Be in a front stance. Uh, nope, yep, yep. And then pick up your foot. And thrust backwards. One. Very nice, Rachel. Two. Uh, stance, John Well. Three. Uh. All right. Turn and look at me for a second. For some reason, there is a lack of commitment to the thrust. So many of you are thrusting. And it's just this little, and then you go. Be this position, this extended position right here is very similar to this position as far as what muscles work. See how none of this really changed? You should be comfortable with your inner thighs, your center, and the back of your butt here supporting that because that and that are very closely related. But if you change your hip and just kind of keep with it, you don't ever get to that comfort position. Uh, can you stand, put one foot in front? I want you to be able to settle here and not like stand up, up. There's no up, only down. So let's give it a try. Up towards the wall or away from the camera, or it doesn't matter, you can go backwards, you can start at the camera and work your way back. Just thrust and hold it. So it'll be two counts. Thrust and hold. One, thrust. Two, down. Not a great hold, people. One, thrust. Two, down. One, thrust. Two, down. Uh, Neil, keep your head up. One, thrust. That was better. Two, down. Feel how it kind of strains your back there, Neil? It's because your head is never up. A few more. You can work away from the camera now. One thrust. Two down. One thrust. Two down. One thrust. Two down. Okay, so here's one more thing I didn't explain that I could have at the beginning. In all kicks, you should be increasing the pressure from your center to the floor throughout the kick. You don't want to come up and kick. You want to stay, drive down to create a base. Okay, so on the back thrust, this is super obvious. There is a relationship from your center to your inner thigh where you can increase the pressure down to the floor. Down! Down, up. It's not the same. And when you people, some of you are occasionally losing your balance, it's because there's no pressure down to the floor. So try that a few times and see how it goes. Front stance again. Thrust and hold. Make your stomach pressure down towards your inner thigh. One, down, two. One, make 
Take stomach pressure down. Two. One. Two. One. Two. That's all right. It's getting better. Let's try that. Three counts. Your first count, I'm gonna switch. Your first count is gonna be a roundhouse kick and land. So you're gonna go like this. One, two. Your second count is the thrust and hold. The third count, you pick your knee up and punch. Okay? Roundhouse kick, back thrust, sit, counter punch. Three counts. Roundhouse kick and drop. One, down, your feet, your butt facing towards the target. Now drop the weight. Two, last. Three, knee up and punch. One, two, three. Again, just make room. One, drop. Two, increase the pressure down, Cindy. Three, knee up and punch. One, roundhouse and down. Two, thrust. Three. That's good, you fun. One count. Here you go. One, round. Thrust, punch. Two, round. Thrust, punch. Three, round. Thrust, punch. Make sure you switch feet once in a while. Try the other side. One, round. Thrust, punch. Two, round. Thrust, punch. Three. There, or you can stand up and look at me for a second. When you have to, if you ever try to actually apply this, you can stand over there. It is possible that I'm chasing him. Move this a little bit. So I'm going straight that way with my roundhouse kick, my back thrust kick, and he's just trying to escape. Possible though, he went sideways. So I throw this roundhouse kick, he goes that way. Uh oh, I have to aim over here where he is now. I might have to cut my foot a little short. I mean, there's lots of adaptations to make it fit if you're gonna use it. So, just a thought. Here we go, try it again, go a little quicker. Try a couple with your left leg in front. Ready? Go, 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 go. One more. Eight. Switch feet. Here we go. Eight. Round, thrust, punch. Don't let your hip turn so far on the thrust. Last one. Eight. Round, thrust, punch. Very good, hi up. So Cindy, as you went, your roundhouse kicks got way better. They had good direction, good coil, good turn. Your back thrusts weren't very consistent, you kept losing. But uh, I think you're working on it, so that's good. I do know, just in general, if nobody ever emphasized that this is the most important leg when you kick, it's hard to change. So if people have always been kicking by standing and kicking by standing and kicking by standing, and then I come along and say, no, 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 this thing's got to be bent, grab the floor, it drives, it drops. This is the important leg. It, it, it's a big change, a big shift. So do the best you can. Uh, and to be fair, Sensei Nishiyama used to come all the time, and he'd say, maximum bent. 
And I'd stand there and go, yep, I got it. My, my accent right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Down, down, down. And then you can't stand there because your leg's weak. But it, 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 one day it clicked. This bend makes all the difference in the world for being able to control direction, balance, power. So the more you can do it, the better off life is. Let's try some kata. Starting with hand your nuts. Out. I will be a mirror. John will do it the right way. You guys will all do it the right way. I'm hoping. Hand your nuts. Go ahead. I'm. Ew. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One turn, two, one, two, three, one. One, two, three. One, back sets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I rest. Try it again. Out, and you're done. John Noel, turn your front foot forward. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Your butt's out a little bit, John Noel, a little bit underneath. One, turn. Two. Back stance, back stance, back stance, back, back, back. John Noel, I don't, there you go. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One. Front hip down, John Noel. Two. Three. Front hip down, John Noel. Four, reach. Five, knee. Turn, six. If you're crooked, it's a little straighter. There you go. Seven. John Noel, you're crooked again, your butt's out. So part of it, sometimes when you're standing like this, and I say turn your foot, it should also help fix your hip. Out, better, out, better. Okay, yep. And uh, Cindy, I'm hoping that you didn't knee strike and then just fall and do a block. That would that'd be sad, right? <laughs> and then one more thing, after you're in a pretty good position here, you can't go up, down. You want to get a good base, in, out, move uh, fluidly. Better, better. Can you feel the up down or not really? All right. Boss side eye. Out. Come on. I will go. Two more there. Out. Boss side eye. Boss side One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, 
One, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Good, Rachel. Right now, uh, tuck under just a little bit and lean back. Lean back a little bit. The other back uh, to your right. Yep. One. One, two, three. One stab. Two. One. Two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, big turn, one, two, one, two, eight. Uh, yep. All right, rest. So everybody's doing a good job. You've got all the right moves. Uh, maybe transition for some of you could be better. So Cindy, to keep picking on you for a second. You went here just fine on the second to the last move, and then there were three ups. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. No up, down, down. Still came up, but it was way better. Go slow, go down, and then down. Better. So you just don't want to kill, you don't want to hole in there. And then you came up a lot on the first part. Down, down. Better! Oh, that was a lot better try. That was pretty good. You found you can be uh, more explosive, but your direction was awesome. Conquer die for Neil. Out. Oh. Why not? Come on, die. Come on. One. 
You. One, two. One. This is like Basa Dai. One, two. One, two. Now this is like Heian Nida. Right at the beginning. One, two, three. Continues like Heian Nida. One, two, three. Now it's like Heian Yonda on this part. One. Then you kick and hold the recoil for now. Two. And then turn. Three. Then stab. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. This is like hand yonda. You can do a side snap, back fist strike, elbow strike. One, two, one, two, four knife end blocks like the end of hand showing up. One, two, one, two, one. Now you're gonna kick and go in like hand yonda. Two, three, step backwards. Four, five, six. Now you're gonna do this. One, turn and block. Two, super low. Three, normal back stance. Inside block counter punch. One, two, block with two punches. One, Two, three, side snap. One, two, three. Spear hand, light hand, on down. One, now behind your neck instead of behind your back. Two, that's a down strike with your knuckles. Three, hammer fist, like techie. One, two, three, big turn. One, two, three, four, Double flying front kick of death. One. Yep. Hi, rest. Excellent. One more time. Any questions about hey, go down? Or I'm sorry, come down. We don't do it very often. Here we go. Out. Come down. Boy, cover your left thumbnail with your right thumb, and your first, your second thumbnail, fingernail with your other two fingers. On, when it gets to your face, look up like you're looking through it. Break apart and bigger. Two, kneel. Your feet should be apart. It's your kata. You should know that. One. More sideways. Two. Better back stance, you funk. Three. Cover, reach. One, two, like, uh, Pasha died. You did the wrong thing? I did. How are they supposed to follow? One, two. Oh, uh, wait. Nope. Now it's like, uh, Hey, I need a one, two, three. Side snap behind you, knife hand block. Two more knife hand blocks. One, two, now spear and strike. Three. Uh, shoulders down, good front stance kneel. Aim for the middle of you. Kind of cover where your wrist is or fingers are in there, not way out here, in there. Uh, turn and go like that. One. Kick, turn, and uh, one of those. One, two, stab. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Side snap, bubble strike. One, two, One, two, four knife hand blocks like hand showed up. One, two, one, two. One of these. One, 
Then you're gonna kick and go in. Two, three. Step back inside block. One, two, three. Catch. One. Then drop. Two, block. Three, regular knife and block. Inside block, counter punch. One, two. Inside block, double punch. One, two, three. Side snap. One, two. Spear hand. One. Behind your back, neck. Two. Shoulders down. Three. One, two, three. Big turn. One. Two. Three. Four. Big turn. Pull down. Five. Double kick. Boom, boom. High up. High rest. High rest. All right. I think we're done for now. This concludes our at-home training session. Any questions, problems? I'm glad you all made it. I hope to come again. Oh, question. Yes, Cindy? One more doing. Can you pull up like this? Yep. Her feet together? No. Some people tell you it's a L stance. Some people say it's a J. Depends on where this foot was. I, I, I think of it as a J. So can you see my feet? Yeah. That one's pretty much forward. This one's kind of 30 degrees-ish. So they're not together. Uh, another possible interpretation could be it's almost like this, but not quite. Okay. Uh, changes with different styles though. There are definitely styles that pull their feet together. Um, good question though. It also took me a long time to learn this because um, after you do this, which is forward, you can't now go backwards. You can't just stand up. You have to make forward pressure from your center through your leg and pull against it. Whoa. It, it's a really cool feeling. It just took me a long time to get it because it's too easy to let it slide back. All right. Thank you, though. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. -bye. Bye,